Okay, so I bought these two right here. These two that are obviously broken. Yeah. And an employee, uh, a guest was just laughing at me with an employee because I can't get my money back and I'm getting injured and burnt outside. And every store I go to, they rob me and the credit cards. And this employee, I'm just going to, I'm not, I'm just not going to show his face or anything like that. But what you have to do to get, this is $40 and this adds up. They're turning my fingernails into fungus and just laughing. So this says extra power and these are all protected under a lock. So what happens is you have to walk up to the glass and you have to rub, you know, put your, the motion sensor, a hand near the motion sensor and they'll, you know, um, initiate a call to a team member. So she tells me, I can't give you a refund or an exchange. Now this is what causes displacement. Now, um, and begging in the middle of the street after they guzzle down and hijack all the funds out of your bank account. And they guzzle down 5,000, 10,000, 200,000 dollars in large chunks. That's why they all move around and maneuver around in groups of 10 because they rob people all day long. And that's why Walmart in Baldwin Hills went bankrupt. They hired security guards to work in the store to keep track of the schedule to allow boosters to rob everything until they finally went into a bankruptcy. And Walmart in Baldwin Hills is the largest Walmart except for the superstore in the other surrounding cities. So look at this. Now look at this good, $20.99 each. It's been five days and they're all faulty. I threw away the packaging and they know that I had to get an employee to open this glass case in order for me to give her the $40. $40. But they, they want to see my body crumble and die in the middle of the street after they steal everything that I own. And they've already shot my husband in front of the police station. So, and demised, hung 30 pregnancies. So, for some reason, they didn't want my husband and I to reproduce a baby. Uh, thank you. This is uh, actually Target, Koreatown. It's not just Target. Um, this have gotten absolutely nothing to do with the corporation. It's the region. And this is per the discretion of the different types of people that are located with different campaigns going on. So it's, there's really no way to identify why or who. So we'll just pray about this and bless this man that keeps laughing at me. Look, there he goes right there. He's, he's watch, watch, I'm gonna get a close up of him. I'm gonna get a close up of him. There he is right there. Look, you see the crazy giggle on him? He's going around hunting for me in the store laughing because they're destroying my finances. I gotta go. I don't wanna get banned or 86 from the store. They're trying to ban me uh, and rob. They're trying to disfigure my face, my body, my ears have turned into huge beer barrels, uh, burn my skin, and they injected my toes. My feet are two and a half sizes larger. Uh, they don't want me to fit in ice skates because I just want a gold medal in 2017 before Kobe passed away and they they're trying to tamper with the airline tickets issued under United States Olympic Committee that um, they're trying to harass the federal employees that were on the airplanes before the Summer Olympics arrive. Uh, I was just recertified for a year of rental payments and the employees were, the contractors were scared. They told me to run out of the property and they just signed the documents and paid a year in advance of my rental fees. And they said, we don't know where you're gonna live or what you're gonna do. They busted your door. They said, but we're not gonna stay in this property for longer than 30 more minutes. Run and we'll just catch up with you somewhere around. If we see you in the street somewhere, we'll help you out but 
it's per year discretion to come back to the property. The, and they changed, the properties changed their names, all 30 buildings, uh, to beachfront properties from Skid Row Housing Trust. And they did this, they, they overdosed me in Beverly Hills when I was in the MGM executive suite, uh, which is still an open court case from 15 years ago. So this has been a long, long struggle. And um, now they followed me to Spectrum to cancel my 1.2 gigabyte per second cell phone device that I use to work full time. They don't want me to work. So they're asking me, um, they're, they're asking me to, uh, hi. Are you okay? Uh, well, yeah, I'm fine. But everywhere I go, it was, everywhere I go, I'm not going to put this employee on the uh, video camera. No, there's a guy, he's following me around, he's laughing at me profusely because the, the lady wouldn't return the phone chargers. Now, I, was put on, put, I put on videotape the price and the barcode and the key swipe where you have to, um, I mean, not key swipe, you have to put your hand underneath to get, uh, am I, I'm right or wrong? You got to call someone to unlock this to get in here, right? Okay, thank you. And so this is worth $40. I have, you guys do everything digitally real fast. Everything digitally. And and I'm like, for four days I've been trying to charge this phone. As you can see, yeah, I'm going to stop the videotape real quick. Because this is actually one of my favorite stores. So I don't want to get banned from here. because I, I don't believe you're allowed to videotape anything. But hold on. Can't um, stop the video. Okay, I have to talk to the employee.